Hello my fellow Bandalore players and welcome back to Verun the Forgotten episode number 9. Before we head into today's episode, let me introduce another community member. Lord Tahanka aka Abdullah has joined Verun on his conquest. These are his dads, he is good with one-handed throwing, his rugory is pretty high and is also pretty good with athletics. So we gotta keep him as an infantry. His gear is also pretty decent. Here you can see this is his gear. I have tried to find a green gear because he wanted something greenish. Sadly I wasn't able to find something like this. But as soon as we find any kind of green gear I'm gonna give it to you Abdullah. But what else happened? What happened since the last time that we saw each other? So first of all I have made south into a very very prosperous city as you can see over here the prosperity is going up we get a lot of taxes from the city the security is extremely high the garrison is there militia is there we have a extremely high food production and the loyalty is also really high Sumzan of Zad, this man here is our governor and his steward skill went up by quite a bit. I'm currently also constructing another orchid which gives us more food production. I'm going to make sure all of this is maxed out. Then our city should give us quite a bit of money. So talking about this, um, I've also got the city of Vaes Korkwaki. Vaes Korkwaki. And how did I do this? Did I take it over? Did I go to war with anyone? No, I bought this. What I didn't realize, it means if you can trade settlements, it means you can literally buy anything from other lord. And this castle cost me like 2.4 million dinars. And yes, I am back at nearly 2 million again. Because, yeah, I'm getting quite a bit of money from my city here. I also do get some money from my spring of gold. Then I have a caravan, workshops, and yeah, also from the the villages over here, I also do get quite a bit of money. And we are still getting this tribute from Pantos, which is still really weird. We get so much money and I don't know how to fix this, this is a bug I now have to live with. But it is how it is, and so yeah. So what are the plans for this episode? Um, the plan is to max out the city of Sath. And then maybe I will go to war. I will go to war against Loref. Because Loref has been, I wouldn't say a thorn in my eye, but I need these two cities here. I need these cities. There is no way around it. I thought about just buying off or just buying all the cities. And then I, it came to my mind, it wouldn't be bad if I just buy one of the castles or cities from Loref, so that I have one more of those. And then I'll attack what is left, because then I will unite these things here. I'm also not sure, when you have a high relation with a leader, I just realized something. The lord that I befriended, the lord of Loref, died. So that means that my relation towards Lorafi is not as good anymore because this man here was the father of my wife that passed away. So that means, okay, this means that I should take over Lorif. Yeah, that was the only thing that was pretty much holding me back. But now since I'm seeing this, it's yeah. So we got, what we're going to do now is we're going to run around a little bit. We're going to do a few more trades and then we are trying to buy a city. Maybe we can buy a lot of but I'm pretty sure the more the more money a city is making the harder it will be to buy it we're going to find this out very soon I just realized it's probably not even worth doing these trade routes if I just stay in town and keep on building my city I think I'm gonna make more money like this so I've just wait this out a little bit and once I have waited this out, I'm going to go over to Lorev, going to buy a city there. But I don't know how, how much a city is, that's a problem. I really don't know the price of a city. I know the price of a castle was like 2 million, but I guess a city will be expensive. Because even if I make 22,000 here with one trade, which is a lot, it's still not as much as I'm making if I just stay back in town and just wait out, you know? Because here you have loading times and everything and you have to go from city to city, so the game is not calculating. Also, could I marry off one of my sons? with Daenerys Targaryen? I've not thought about this, but once one of my sons is reaching a proper age, and if I marry off Daenerys Targaryen then, does that mean that my son 
Oh wait, that means the Nerys joins me. Right. Now I've got to f I've got to figure out how this works. I'm curious now. Oh, let me show. By the way, let me show the Gallant the the Gallant. He literally has like I don't know hundreds bowmen. There is hundred twelve range. This guy's insane. He's like only focusing on archers, which is really funny. I mean, granted, the Sonori archers are pretty strong, so I can see why he's doing this. Let me bump this up, by the way, because I have the money. So the next thing that will help me is, I guess, the aqueducts, as I do get prosperity by doing this. You know what, we're just gonna wait here a little bit. We're gonna wait until the money goes up. Oh, and another one of my child has reached the proper age. Uh, um... I'm basically just putting intelligence and social in all of them. Just because I can. Trade, yeah, trading and everything. I guess it's the best thing because you, your child do get... I mean, I just hope so. That our children will be very good at leadership then, hopefully. Oh, in case if you're wondering why I'm moving out again. I've been waiting a, bit, a few days at Zav and I just got a little bit bored. That's why I decided to move out. We're still moving around on the map. We get the money and we also make more trades. So I think it's worth it. I also realized that you can make a lot of money by selling horses. Um, <laughs> actually, Abyss told me about this. He was just like, you, you can like abuse this with the horses. Just as the moment you pay for your crimes. Yeah, I need, I need you guys to level up my troops. That's why I'm doing this. By the way, talking about troops, if you want to see my troops right now. We have nearly 100 horsemen, nearly 80 water dancers, 30 crossbowmen. And yes, just probably captains. Uh, I should probably make a Kara one with her because she is very skilled in trading. Um, <laughs> a little off topic, but yeah, overall we're looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, Mir is getting uh, Mir is getting besieged. I wanted to make a trade here, but it's going to be a hard battle. But I, I think they're going to win this, and they're the rebels have risen. If I would have known that... Ah, uh, damn it. If I would have known that I could have, like, abused this. <laughs> Nearly 20,000 fish in here. Let me buy some of it. So I'm looking at 2.1 million. This might be enough to buy a city. I guess we're gonna see for ourselves. So I'm, I'm maybe just buying their castle and then sieging their cities. It's not a bad idea overall. They have 220 Larofi cavalry in here. Oh my lord. So who is the owner of the city? This guy. Stalakwa Fazar. Uh, just out of curiosity, okay? We're going to look into something. Stalakwa Fazar. My name is Weirn, yes. I'm here. There's something I'd like to discuss. So just out of curiosity. Okay, this city is worth quite a bit of money. Mm, I mean, I think it's good. It's very good. I even threw in my C, uh, my thief Zav here. So yeah, this guy wants at least, I think, like 20 million, which is which is obvious. But I guess it's better for me to fight them. Now there is also, a, I think, a castle over here. Yeah, the castle of Biza. Who owns the castle of Biza? Takanis, the ruler of Loreth. Oh, this guy is the new ruler. I doubt he's going to sell his castle to me. I doubt it. Khan is, there he is. Yeah. So here's Laura and Beza. I can actually buy the castle from him. This would this was would weaken Lorev. And also I can give this castle to one of my lords. Which we are going to do. But I'm going to buy this castle from him. Yeah, the castle now belongs to me. But I'm going to give the castle to someone else, obviously. Let me just manage the castle and see. Loyalty, everything is pretty much high in here. I'm going to queue festival and games so that the loyalty stands higher up, which I'm exactly not sure how this works. How many soldiers are in there? Ooh, quite a bit of soldiers in here. Good, very good. Now, with that being said, let's see who we're going to give this castle to. We can give this castle to... Uh... Okay, I have Sav and Biza. This guy has... Uh, okay, Dan. Antarion has the highest influence, but we already gave the castle to Antarion. Celeris is the next one. They have four members. They have 13 members. Maybe Bar Amon. 13 members, I guess that's good. We're going to give them to... I'm not sure what I'm... I don't know what I'm doing here, but you know. 
give my castle to these guys. 13 members, so let me... Okay, family. He has a spouse. Let me check the clan here. Oh, there are the members. Oh, yes, they have quite a bit of members. My relation with them is pretty high, which is awesome. So we can get all of these guys... I mean, they're currently poor, but I think we can rebuild them. Buying a settlement is too much money, but buying castles, that's doable. I mean, obviously, if you're a very good trader and people like you and you'd be like, hey, you know what, the, the nice castle you have over there? I'm going to give you two million gold for this. I, I think that hardly any other lord would say like, no, I'm not gonna sell the castle. Okay, let's go back to south and let's see what else we can build. Uh, aqueducts are on the highest level which increases our prosperity by quite a bit. This is awesome. High loyalty also increases it in goods from market. Okay, surplus in food. Oh, high food means that we also get prosperity. This is awesome. So that means we're going to make another granary. So granary increases the food stock, right? So that means we have more food and stuff, I guess. Let's build a granary. How long does this take? Eight days. Gonna invest some more money in here. Gonna do a few more trade routes in the meantime. Then be coming back. Ooh, fish sells for quite a bit of money here. I mean, obviously you have to see the amount that drops, but hey. By heart, I can't help myself. I'm still a trader. I can't say no to the coin. I hope by giving these guys the ga the castle that they will get stronger. This should happen though, because they now get their own villages and stuff. Fish 117? I mean, okay, of course this will go down, but ooh, and I bought these horses for like 300. I'm also gonna keep an eye out that I'm not selling too many horses. Okay, I think the strength is growing. 521? I think it was like only 119 before. Or 190. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this out later on. Pretty sure they increased quite a bit in strength. Mm, they only have... They only have two parties on the field though. Ah, of course it has increased because they have quite a few soldiers in the castle. Does it change, by the way, that lords run around on the field? Because sometimes lords and ladies are in the castle and sometimes they go on the field. And I wonder if this changes from time to time. Oh yes, we made quite a bit of money with our clay and wood here. Let's can sell the horses for a nice price. I think horses might be my way to go now. Just gotta find two cities now that sells horses for a cheap price. And buys horses for a better one. This city is just rebelling right now. Ay 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 ay. This could be my opportunity. Ooh, guys, I have an idea. Everyone is so far away. I'll see if I can call in my army at the right time. I'll see what I can do here. Um, everyone come to me. I'm going to take out as soon as one of the rebels comes out. First I thought about autocarking this. Can I catch up to him? He should, he should, yeah. But if I think about it, I actually want to see my army in action. So, I'm here to deliver my demands. Surrender or die. Yield or fight. We're now at war of the rebels. Ah, the villagers are also helping. I should have waited before I left. I didn't actually want to fight villages. Let's ready ourselves. I think they will charge us. It's my guess because... Look at all these horsemans. Hell yeah, what an army. The Sonori archers, um, the elite archers are really strong. Oh, we're already shooting them. Gonna form a shield wall so they can run in there. Having, having a huge group of these horse archers would also be a pretty nice idea. Oh god, yes. Oh, don't... You did, guys didn't see that hit, right? Are they not moving out? They're still back in their city. Well, I can move forward then. I'm gonna move forward with everyone. I'm gonna move up the hill here. They can hide back in their small city. Won't change the fact. And I have the upper hill! I'm gonna move the infantry down there. Ooh, now the kills are flying in. Um, I think we might have aggroed them now. Okay, they're still not going to do anything. I think they're coming out. Yeah, they're coming in now. You know what? Horse archers charge in. My footmen also. Oh yeah, look at this. Hell yeah, what an awesome battle. And yes, I know I'm just killing civilians right now, but hey, the king must do what a king must do. Wait, what? I just thought this guy was stuck again and I'm gonna lose the battle. Well, that was pretty simple. Uh, what can I do with- I think I'm gonna capture, capture him. Just because I don't want him to make another army again. Now, obviously, these guys are now pissed at me. I just hope I have enough time before they take back the castle. I don't know what the, who the castles belong to, I think maybe could have been 
Oh, wait, I can already start the siege, right? I can already start the siege. So first, we're going to make some tributaries to get rid of their defense. We're not at war with any huge faction right now, so that means I can take my time here. Uh, of course, they have resources for 465 days. So, yeah, it's not going to happen. Ooh, and more troops are coming in. There we go. Oh, uh, that was the wrong one. I want to build it. Uh, can I get in more troops? Damn it. So, okay, our party numbers say that we should win this very easy. Like the power levels are in our favor. No, we're not gonna let this guy ransom right now. I don't want him to join the siege. Oh, yeah, we got just another lord in. Brienne got attacked? Bri Wait, Brienne? Really? Brienne's army was so big. Okay, I think we're pretty much good to go. Uh, yeah, lead an assault. And also the walls are breached. And we do have our siege equipment up. Let's head in there. I'm not even sure if this is necessary. Uh, well, I'm looking at this now at the bar over there. And the power bar is now... This went up. Like their power level went up. I have to get rid of the archers over there. And I also don't want to get shot by my own ballistas. Okay, so far so good. No archers over here. But yeah, we're looking pretty strong. Oh, my water dancers are just slicing through them. Now, with sieging, water dancers are so freaking strong. First, I was complaining about them, but when it comes to melee combat, they are really strong. Uh-oh. Go back, horse. Go back. Ouch. It hurt. I'm just gonna shoot you while I'm here. Oh, no. Give me a headshot. It was not a headshot, but it was better than nothing. Oh, come on. Yes. My combat sets are so bad. Oh, that was a really nice headshot. And more water dancers are coming in. <laughs> <laughs> They're also still at the gate. I don't even think it was necessary that you guys go to the gate. But whatever floats your boat, guys. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oof! They just spawn. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I figured they didn't go on me. Just one guy. I can take that one. I can take that one. Come on. Fight me. Oh, God. There's still so many over here. Retreat! Are they trying to flee or what? I think these are trying to flee. Could be wrong, though. Oh, yeah. I still a huge group of them down there. Also, some archers up here. Ah. Oof. About to get knocked out. Don't shoot me. It's just a prank, bro. Are there more archers in here? Uh-oh. I immediately regret my decision. Ah! Come fight me, bruh. Okay. I don't know how I made it, but I'm still alive. I should probably not stand up here and shoot down. Because they can also shoot up. Uh, yeah. That's... That's what I meant. Tyrion Lannis is... Oh. That's why he's killing... Guy after guy. He killed a few people. That is right at the start. I understand why now. Let's fast forward this. This should be an easy win. Yep. Like I said, easy win. Every time they retreat to the castle, we get no reload for battles, right? Or am I crazy? Maybe because I got knocked out now. So now I knocked, got knocked out, right? Now I'm gonna, just gonna send the troops. And now I'm just gonna get a few renown. Like a four renown. Gonna take a few more troops back in. Although I lost nearly no. Okay, now the city was taken over. We can now show mercy. This changes my party morale, but whatever. I'm not trying to destroy the city. Okay, very good, very good. Since the city now belongs to me, owner of Vice Thief. Okay, so who wants the castle? Morio Quario. What else does he have? Okay, I think this guy has no thieves. I think this guy has no thieves whatsoever. Am I right with this? Wait, what? Does this guy ha have like... How many thieves does this guy have? What? All of those thieves belong to one guy. He's a thief. Oh god, he's at war with nearly everyone. Okay, many rebel clans are here too. My oh my. And he's... Yeah, he's with the whale. I think that's the reason why the whale has so much stuff. Because this guy joined the whale. We have to take him out. Sooner or later. Yeah, anyways, um, I wanted to go to... I think I can vote for this, that this guy should get it. I just realized I couldn't even take the city for myself, but whatever, I guess. Okay, now we are slowly working our way up there. You gotta say that rebels appear is probably the best thing that could happen. I'm gonna disband my army again. We are still going to go to war with Lorev. That doesn't change. It's just a matter of time. Huh, I, I just realized, was it a bad idea to give the city to someone else? For To me, it seems like the city was too good to be true. I just hope they can hold it and the rebels aren't rising. Oh, Joseph. He has reached another age. Yeah, let's get his social up. I wonder why he's naked. Do really want to know that? Social skills. Yeah. Increased skill and charm. Very good. Already made some money with those sales. I think I might need to go back to Saad. 
and build another project. Okay, my game just crashed. And let's do this again. Did I get my goods already? Okay, I have all the goods in here. Well, hopefully I can sell the goods again. Okay, I have to give Joseph his stats again. Joseph got his stats again, pretty much the same as last time. Well, pretty much they are the same as last time. And I want to go back to South. Before that, let's head to Weistofrak. I just realized that the garrison in South costs me 2.1k. That's quite a lot. I mean, it makes me 2.5k. And if I take the cities in consideration, they also make me quite a bit of money. But that's quite a bit. Oh, Brienne is here. I guess she's hiding in the tav tavern. Yeah, let's take her to party again. I wanna also want to give her some troops. She's not here to just dwell. To just dwell in my party. She needs to go out there. So manage town, yeah. The next project was already finished, so granary. Yeah, now we have 500 plus here. I think this also gives us more prosperity. So we're gonna build another one. We're just gonna add more money here. It's whatever. How long have I been recording? I've been recording for over an hour again. Well, um, that means that I'm gonna cut down the episode again. And... Yeah. Then we see each other in the next episode. I will try to fortify my guys even more. Maybe I'll be able to buy another castle. And then in the next episode, when we see each other, we're going to attack Lorav together. Can't wait for this. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.